Hey guys, it's Stark here, and I'm going to record this Renderman for Houdini thing about uh, the texture files, because it's kind of confusing, and it was a problem I was running into, especially how to convert it. So I just have Houdini open right here, and I'm just going to, well, I'm not going to hit render, but here it is. And then one of the things you're probably going to do is go right into your shop and these are all just um pixar or renderman shaders so i made this ball right here and just want to show you something which is something very common that you'd probably do which is let's go into the diffuse color and then here we go pixar texture which would just be like to load in texture so your first thing you probably go to is textures and then this PNG. Now I'm going to hit render. Okay, so the problem is it's not rendering it in or it's not showing up. And the reason for this is because RenderMan requires you to have a .tex or texture file. And it's not something that's just something you could go ahead and convert in Photoshop. Uh, you actually have to do it just wanted to show how to like convert it. So with the RenderMan, when you install it, uh, RenderMan 21 that I'm using here, I'm going to go ahead and go to, this should be basically your pathway if you just installed it normally. And then you're going to go to the bin and you're going to see all of these EXEs and blah, blah, blah. And you're looking for this guy right here, which is the TX make. And your first thing, which was mine, was to double click it. And I was wondering why isn't it working? So I'm just going to go ahead and actually hit uh, Windows, not Windows W, but Windows R. Let me bring it up here. and just going to type in CMD for the command line. Okay, so what you could do is you're just going to go ahead and drag it in. Okay. If you hit enter, it's going to show you all of this stuff, which is fine. But, oh, let me bring that back really quick. The only thing I'm going to do is, and this is super basic because I don't want to overwhelm anyone. So we're saying we're going to run this program, okay? And then on my desktop, I have the texture. So I'm going to just drag it in here, okay? Hit space again. I'm going to hit, just drag it in, and then I'm going to go ahead and change the name to, I'll call it um, text dot tex just so that i know and all you're going to do is hit enter and then you'll see that this guy just popped up here okay now the thing is you have to do this for every texture file so even if it's an hdr anything anything you want to use you have to do it for so let's just go ahead and load it in you can see that it's ball text text we'll accept it and i'm just going to hit uh, linearize Hit render and then there you go and then it, it just loads it in so this is just a very simple thing that I think could uh, help you guys out a lot and um, these are very just like a basic I just did a quick dynamic thing just to give it some interesting stuff but the other thing you'll notice here is that it's white and I actually almost forgot this I just want to show the light here so I'm going to go back I'm going to go up and then in the environment I have this it was an HDR but it's converted to a .tex texture file and then I'm just going to hit render again and now the environment uh, the dome lights using it you can kind of see the metal and everything on that so it's really quick uh, I'm new to render man but this is pretty awesome so if you want, you can find me on Twitter at mstarktv. So thanks, guys. I hope this was helpful.